Hi, good morning and good evening, everyone. Today is the Salesforce Basic Admin Session 4. In this session, we are going to cover, we have seen the main pillars of IT industry are end user, client, and IT company. In IT company, Salesforce administrator, developers, architects, or many other people who works. All these are main pillars of the IT company. Today in our session, we will see what activities end user, client, and administrator or developer does. And we will see about application, object, tab, field, and record. Then how to create. I will just tell how to create one account. Then you have to create remaining things. What operations we can do on records, we will see in this session. After that, we will see some questions and assignments I will give you. Okay. Now, if you take any hospital, example, I am searching Apollo Hospital. When I open Apollo Hospital, I am an end user now. As an end user, I want to book appointment for some problem. I just want to book appointment by using Salesforce CRM. This is the Salesforce CRM. Apollo is using the Salesforce CRM. This is the part end user is seeing. From this part, end user enters their details, phone number, then select city and book appointment. When you click book appointment, immediately we are getting some response here. Our data is saved. So this is what end user does. How much knowledge is required for end user now to do this activity? How much knowledge is it? He doesn't need more knowledge, right? Minimum knowledge, if he can surf internet, they can do this. As a client, this is how end user uses. End user doesn't use more than this. Otherwise, he will search for doctors and he will see information about his doctor experience and everything they can do. A normal person who knows internet surfing, that with that minimum knowledge they can use. But when you come to client, what client will do? Now we have clicked on book appointments we have given some information then client who is client here who is client here apollo client is apollo from client side who will sit who will sit is uh, sales uh, uh, hospital owner or somebody else in the front desk? Somebody else. somebody else. So he might be whoever is working. Whoever is working on behalf, on behalf of hospital, he is client. The person who sat at front desk, he is client. The person who is doing Surgery, doctor, he is a client and owner of hospital, he is a client. Whoever is using Salesforce, whoever is opening Salesforce application, he is client for us. So now we have booked appointment and now I am getting call from Apollo. 
Who is calling? Did you listen my phone sound? Some person from customer care. He is calling. He is client. For whom is client? For IT company. So all of them, them we call as client. What activities they do? Now I have booked some, given some information. And these people from client side, Salesforce team will be there, right? We are Salesforce administrators and developers. In our company, in TCS, let us assume we are working for a TCS. In the same way, Apollo will have their own team. Salesforce team will be there. Because client may not have complete technical knowledge. They know functional knowledge. They have functional knowledge. He might need other people. So, Salesforce team will be there in the client side. So this Salesforce team also client. All of them are from, we call as client. So what activities they do? They book appointment through phone call in the first step. Right now they are calling me to take more details. After appointment, when we go to hospital, that time they will register us, right? During appointment, they take only your name, doctor name, phone number and email. Once patient registration is done, like when, when, when you go to visit the hospital, they first do patient registration. In that, they take more details about our health history. Do you have diabetes? Do you have BP? Do you have arthritis problem? Are you taking any other medication? Have you gone through any surgeries? In the past, all this information they take. Then once they have taken, they have done registration, they ask for consultation, right? They do payment. We do payment. As a patient, we do payment. Then after this, they will give bill to us. Once it is done, we have to go for doctor visit. After going to doctor visit, he will suggest for diagnosis. There he will write some tests. After the test, based on the test, he will suggest either outpatient treatment or inpatient treatment. He will suggest some medicine if it is outpatient. If it is inpatient treatment is required, then they will suggest for room admission. Then again payment bill, then they discharge. So the people, those who are working in client side in Salesforce team, how much knowledge they require? They require all this functional knowledge or not? Do you agree? Yes, sir. If they are in the Salesforce team, they need all this. But the person, those who, who is booking appointment, he need only knowledge on this part. Person who is at front desk, he need only knowledge on this. This part, how to use this application. Means individually, those who are working on this part, they need functional knowledge of this. But the persons, those who are working on client side on Salesforce, they need functional knowledge of entire application, including pay, booking appointment, patient registration, payment for registration and bill, doctor visit, diagnosis. How this is happening through the application, how they are automating through this application, they need all the knowledge. As I am running my institution, I should have complete functional knowledge, how to do payments, how if reception and in front desk, if the enquiries come, how they have to talk, what is the next procedure, if they want to join course, what they have to do. All this is step by step. I should have knowledge. Others, on behalf of me, somebody should be there to deal all these things. 
hospital owner might have all the knowledge but he might not deal everything technical things he will see the business point of view that's why they he appoints sales force team so they have all functional knowledge they will discuss with us and they will finalize with hospital owner oh this uh, this features we are using this thing we need to change he will get approval from them sales force team then they will discuss with us so they need require knowledge of marketing sales and service functionality right these application functionality they need do you agree or not do you agree with this yes so as a administrator and developer what we will do first step requirement gathering to build an application you have to gather requirements from client who will involve in this requirement phase project manager solution architect business analyst from these are from it company side from client side project manager business analyst or company owner they might involve in the meetings so now every company every client will have project manager for their it products to smooth their activities if something happens some problem comes to rectify them clients are recruiting sales force project managers business analysts some people some it team they are recruiting because they want to provide proper services to their customers patients so these people will give requirements to whom administrators developers in our company to us they will give if you are working for tcs we are building application for apollo these people from apollo from client side will give requirements to project manager solution architect business analyst to the it company then after that they will do functional design who technical architect or solution architect do functional design in the second step in the third step they do technical design technical architect and senior team members sit together and they do technical design or else solution architect also might involve then in the coding part entire sales force team including sales force solution architect technical architect even sales force managers also doing code now entire sales force involved in the coding they complete the application they build the application then they do unit testing after that functional testing is done by testers this is the functional testing or testing we can call entire application is tested by testers once it is done user acceptance test the people from this it the client project manager or business analyst along owner along with them our team will be there and they do user acceptance test once they said okay everything is fine everything is working as per our expectations they deploy the code in production hall this is entire process is done from our side so we need to have as a admin and developers we need to have functional skills on marketing sales and service clouds along with that we need to have technical skills do you agree for this what skills are required for end user what skills are required for client what skills are required for admins and developers if you want to work in sales force so in sales force we are seeing this application what is this application what is this application in crm what is this application which application is this this yes. is the marketing application or not this is sales application 
this is service application these three are the applications what these applications contains these applications contains features to automate business process who uses this application end user uses client uses admins and developers uses everybody uses this application because as end user they are entering data here client using it and admins and developers are using this application everybody is using application it contains some features it is to automate the business process which business process they have to run a, a hospital activities hospital business they have to run they have to automate all from patient registration till discharge whatever things happen between these two till appointment to discharge payments and everything they have to automate that we know so they are we have entered some person has now we have clicked on book appointment then this data is storing somewhere right when we booked click on book appointment this data is stored in the database what is salesforce database what is salesforce database database.com database.com in database.com data is stored in the form of table the table is nothing but object who can see this object only admins and developers developers client cannot see this object end user cannot see this object whatever they are performing through user interface that is going to store in the objects in a table in form of rows and columns and they have provided as the administrators and developers we are providing tabs to them these are called tabs and tab bar these are the tabs by using these tabs they can enter data by using these tabs they can enter data if they can click on new they can enter data for every object there is a tab tab is a user interface to manage object mostly 90% of the time there is a tab per object but it is not necessary every object no need not to contain a tab every object need not to contain a tab because some objects do not require tab because those are managed by admins and developers for internal purpose so if user requires the tab then for the object we create tab and by using the tab they can manage the object managing the object means they can create records they can edit records they can delete records they can undelete records they can view records from the tab the tab has giving that user interface facility for them in object we have fields these are called fields it is a column name in the object who can see admins and developers can see fields externally they can see field names 
client can see these field names. If end user requires, they can see these field names. But internally, if you want to see fields, that is only possible to admin or developer. If we have access. So how to see that field? Now, if I want to see any field, go to lightning. In the lightning experience, click on setup. If you click on setup, here object manager it is showing, click on this. I want to see account object. Here I want to see fields inside account object. You can see on the fields. If you click on this, it will show what it contains. See, this is the field label. What it is, we will see later. Now, I don't know about this field. How I can do such? Copy this. Google. Account field in account object salesforce or you can search for if you go to case if you click on new case origin case origin fill in account object You can search like this if you have any doubts about what is this field. Because we need to have understanding of in each object what fields are available. Like when we go for interview as an experienced person, they will ask you. Or else when you go to company and join in the company, they will ask you what is this field. There some important fields are there. For example, if you go to lead status. If you go to leads, you can see here. If you click on new, here it is showing lead status. These are the important things. This I have given as question to you. What is lead status and what are the different lead status Salesforce have? So those we need to have understanding. Case status field in lead. Here you can see lead status. There some options are available. You can open it in official site of Salesforce. Field reference guide is there. There you can see. So if you take here lead status. Like this, you can get knowledge on each field. If you click on that lead status, it will show. It is not coding for me. So 
So you can search on this. Whenever I have given assignments, today I will send these questions. Lead if you take, like this it is showing. Already it is in lead. Yeah, it is in lead status only. Represent the status of the lead. Take this. Understand this and write down. Lead status is, it represents the status of a lead. If you want to see lead history, history tracked for the leads. Like this, in this documentation, you can search. How to check? Check your mode, please. So whenever you go to application, the combination of fields is nothing but records. If you create, when you click on this account, if you click on new, and when you are entering account name, some TCS, nothing, trading hard, I am giving as TCS account name, then account number something, phone number, while creating account, enter all the fields. Some people don't enter, this is only mandatory field, if I say, create five records, they will enter TCS, imposes something and they will save it, they will say I have done assignment, not like that, enter each and every field, then you will get knowledge on that, so you will get some command and application, this is for us to learn, not to complete assignment, I will give it as assignment to create five accounts, once you save this, record is stored, so combination of all these fields is called as record. Collection or combination of fields is nothing but record. This record is stored in the object. That object end user can manage by using tabs. There is account object internally. Externally there is account tab. This account tab contains that account tab contains options, user interfaces. Tab contains user interfaces. Tab is nothing but user interface. User interfaces to manage object. What they can do? They can create record. They can edit record, they can delete record, they can undelete record, they can view record. These are the five operations they can do. By doing these five operations, they can manage the object. How, for example, now I have created end user went here and he has created, he has entered something. My name is Madhu. Instead of Madhu, I entered MADU. Here. In Salesforce, in Salesforce, I want to create an account record. I have entered like this. I have not seen, I have doing like this. Then I click on save. Later I have realized, I have entered something wrong. I am able to edit this record or not? We can do it. Then save. Now we have created record and we can edit record. Same thing client or user can do. Mostly client can edit records. Then I don't want to th this record. I can delete this record. Click on delete. If I want to undelete record, it will be there in recycle bin. Go to recycle bin. This will be existed in recycle bin for 15 days. 
till 15 days it is available by that time we can restore undelete record now if you want to view the record click on this see this if you go here it is showing view option these five operations can be done on record So what is the hierarchy here? What are the main pairs of Salesforce CRM? First one is application. Second, we have object. Third, we have tab. Fourth, we have field. Then record. This is the hierarchy in Salesforce CRM. Application is what? It contains some features, right? It contains features to automate business process, to automate business. Object is, what is object? Object is, it is a table, to store right? the... Table to store data. Data. Tab is? Inter uh, user interface, so interface to manage object field is column name in the object right record is combination or collection of fields clear on this So by using Salesforce application, by using tab, client can create, edit, delete, and delete view records. If you want to see about a field, an administrator or developer can go to object manager. How to go to object manager? Go to lightning. In the lightning, Go to setup, switch to lightning application setup. There you can see object manager. Select any object in that object fields and relationships. If you select on any field account name, you can see the field. Go to Lightning Experience. Here, click on Setup. Go to Object Manager. Here, you can click on Account. Then, Fields and Relationships. If you want to click on Field, you can see. If you want to search about any field, take this account name field, copy it, search here. Or search here. So here account fields you can see. This is the way we have to learn. See here. Account name, the description is this one. If you want to check for opportunity fields, type opportunity fields. So in that, we can see. So 
all information is available. Like this, you find. I will give some questions to you. Now, what you have to do is you have to create. You have to create five accounts, five campaigns. These are the assignments and I will give interview questions as well. Create five campaigns, create five lists, create five accounts, create five leads, create five contacts, create five opportunities, create five cases, create five solutions. While creating, no doubt so. You try, you enter all the fields. If you create pi, 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 you will understand what fields there available. Then it will be easy for you. I give some questions. What is this field? You have to search in Google and write down. Okay. Okay, today recording and assignments I will send little later. Because tomorrow, day after tomorrow, we don't have session.